they all do it. What we're going up to in this video? Well, we're going to be removing the headlights and checking the bulbs because I believe they are way too bright. And because the Triumph doesn't have a switch to switch your headlights off, I might be using this switch to switch one of them off. Okay then, before I start, I have found a few bulbs in my little drawer full of bulbs. I found these two have one element not working, but these all work on low and high beam, and they're all 60, 55 watt. Don't touch the glass. Put that on there, put that on there. I think that's the eye. That's the normal. So we have to get two out of those to swap because I'm pretty sure when we take this unit off they're going to be 100 watt bulbs. But I don't even ride at night so I don't need that sort of power and that's going to be taking a hell of a lot of pressure onto the battery and charging circuit. Plus it had these super bright fog light things on it which are also going to be super exhausting on the uh, charging system. So let's get these lights off and see if I'm right about the 100 watt bulbs. Okay then, so if you want to change your front bulbs on a Triumph Tiger 955, you've got to take all the bearing off, but then you've got to take the headlights off. And there is one bolt there, one bolt underneath there, and one bolt on the other side, just there. Right then, we've taken one out. I don't know if you can read on there, probably not. These cameras don't focus too well close up. It says Philips 12569RA 12V 100 slash at 80. No, it's 90. So yes, it's 190W. And the spare bulbs I've found, these ones, try not to touch the glass, Johnny. That one there, uh, get that one. This one says Ring H4-12V-60-55. So yes, these are a lot lower wattage. So I will be sticking these in. There we go. And there we go. Make sure these are nice and clean. Just push that down until it's in place. Okay, so now we've got the bulbs changed. I want to uh, put one so I can switch one off. So I've got to work out which wires to put the switch on to. To turn this one off and then turn it on if I'm out at night. So I think now I'm at the point where I've got to remove the fuel tank. Find all the wiring for these. Find the wiring for this switch, which goes down there and into there. And also, we've still got these vacuum pipes, what we're looking at, and uh, fixing properly there under there somewhere so I think the next job is to remove the fuel tank but that's not going to be today so I'll probably see you tomorrow how are you all doing I seem to remember saying I'll see you tomorrow but I haven't been in this shed for almost a fortnight all the crap going on behind the scenes I tell you what, if you could make a film of our lives right now, it would be an Hollywood blockbuster. Jurassic Park springs to mind, but uh, it's more like The Godfather. Anyway, let's get back on with it. Okay, so another reason I'm taking the petrol tank off is, well, I did want to leave the petrol tank on and start the bike up. And uh, this is the uh, this is the plug for the stator. If you unplug that and start the bike up and put your multimeter in there and test it like that this rectifier see the wiring going down there it goes under here 
and the multi connector plug is trapped up there somewhere. I think it's trapped under the fuel tank, but anyway, I can't really see much what's going off. So, yes, that's why we're taking the petrol tank off. And also, I just walked past the bike and uh, snapped my indicator off. And if that won't bad it off, you look down there. There is coolant. And that thing just there is the water pump. And guess where the coolant's coming from? In the back of the water pump, there's little wee poles. Fantastic. But anyway, we can worry about that job another day. So let's get on with removing the fuel tank. I've drained the fuel tank off best I can. I did was put a long pipe into the tank, the other end into the uh, cherry can, and then just here we've got two. I don't know if they're overflow pipes or drip pipes or what, but I just took one of those off, stuck that in the tank as well. Screwed my cloth up like that, blocked the hole up as hard as I could blew down the small pipe and eventually fuel started to come out of the large pipe into the fuel can. So if you're going to drain your fuel tank don't suck, get two pipes and blow. And uh, why I've got all these bits off, all these chips and scratches. I may as well touch them up with this. I don't know if you can see that, it's just, it does need a really good shake up. So how I shake this up is, look like that for two hours. What I do is, Use my pillow drill. Just put a zip tie around the chuck, around your bottle, switch it on. I think that should do it. Perfectly splendid. Right then, we have removed these two fuel pipes, well, overflow pipes or drain off the pipes, whatever they are. And we've got this pipe, which apparently you have to be very careful with because they do tend to weaken and break. Uh, there's a little white button on this side. There's a little white button on that side. And apparently you're supposed to press them in. And it should come off. I don't want to, I want to be careful with it, so my fingers don't seem to be strong enough to press those in. So, I've got these, let's try them. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. get this off. There also seems to be a little mechanism there what you press to pull this wire off. But again my old fingers aren't strong enough. So let's try a little uh, screwdriver. <laughs> you probably can't see anything with my hands in the way. Well, it doesn't want to, does it, Johnny? Of course it doesn't. Does it go that way? Ah, no wonder. I'm doing it the wrong way. 
don't squash it down like that, you lift it up like that, I think. Right, these pipes here, I don't think you have to worry about them because they just go from the top of the tank down to the bottom of the tank. Okay, so next I think we have to undo all these little bolts. Only joking. So there's a fixing bolt just there in front of the tank. Looks like the battery box is fixed to the tank as well, but I do believe there's another bolt securing the tank underneath the battery box. So we've got to get the battery box out anyway. It's three fixings, one at the bottom, two at the sides. Um, these bolts are these torque setting torque settings torque type bolts let's get that down there yep that's the right size just hope it's not too tight of course it's too tight so that one's too tight oh that one's gone Get that one. Yep, yeah, and that one's gone. Well, that's that one. This one doesn't feel right. What's going on with this one? I suppose the rib nut is turning inside, so we're going to have good fun and games with this one. Oh, fantastic. Let's try this one again. See if we can't get a bit of leverage on it. Son of a twitch. Yep, definitely got that one. Now that's two, but number three is gonna be loads of fun. Okay, so we found one of these with the socket. Pretty sure. This isn't going to work because the rib nut is turning round. Inside. Is it? Yes, that's not going to be done whatsoever. Clever, Trevor. You just love having fun in the shed. Right, what are we going to do with that, Johnny? Let's go and have a think about it. I'll be back in a bit. Right then, we're back. I didn't think I'd be using the Dremel today, but uh, I couldn't quite get to it like that because it's at the wrong angle. So what I've done is... Just gone through the plastic, both sides and across the top and uh, hopefully I can break it out and hopefully we don't rupture the fuel tank so that piece should just break off really that's a little piece off Piece off, yes, you can piece off. Try down there, yeah, that's free.
I did also try putting the screwdriver behind it and levering it forward and trying to undo it, but it's all just spinning inside. So yeah, it's like usual, it's just like one of Johnny's uh, usual disasters. Come on, break off your cow bag. Back to the Dremel. I can't go too deep because I don't want to go straight through into this. It goes right through here. Come on, you goddamn son, bitch. Well, you don't do it very well, are you, Johnny? No. Demolish your bike to just get the fucking petrol tank off. <laughs> yes! Well done, Johnny! What a fucking mess. And yes, we've got to get this battery box out because. There's something attached to it. What's attached to it? Some wires attached to it. Wires there. Wires there, wires attached to it. There's that little screwdriver. down there there's another bolt right then what's the chances of getting this bolt undone let's go into the belly of the beast and hopefully we don't come out the devil's ass <laughs> what oh you're kidding me right no fight Oh, that was easy enough, wasn't it? You think somebody's put grease on this one? See, 20 miles long. Typical triumph. I think that's it. The washer going to come out with it. Look at that, how long is that? <laughs> I don't think we'll forget where that one goes. Right then, there should be one more. And that is down there in the dark. Does this tool fit? Of course it doesn't. Okay, bit of light on it and the proper tool. Hopefully. slacking it off. Why do people have to do things so tight? Especially things like this. What's wrong with you people? 
Why do you have to do it so tight? Do you think your petrol tank's going to fall off? Oh my giddy aunt. Where's that ball? It's tied a ridiculously long ball. key that size. Ugh, I could scream my head off. Right, that this what fits. It's just got to go into the same place so you're not going to get no leverage on that. Get a spanner on it. Get it into a good position. Get no leverage nowhere. <coughs> this is going to work. Oh, fuck. Right then, yes, as you guessed, it's another few days later. This final bolt, I have struggled and struggled and struggled to get it out. As you know, we tried with this and this was a heap of poo. Tried with this and these. Tried with this and that. My ratchet on the end. And eventually, yes, we all know what happens next is... That's not the bolt, but the... Uh, socket in the top rounds off and then you're totally in the poo so in the end we resorted to one of these and tried to drill the bolt out and this is what happened Yes, I'm not going to lie to you, tried to get this petrol tank off, I'd made a real pig's ear of it. But I think we'll get there in the end, I should just lift out. Cut those off. But now there's nothing holding on to the tank. Oh my god. This is awkward. say the least. Let's see why there's a chip on that corner. Tell me you have to take the handlebars off as well to get the petrol tank off. Please. Come on. I'm going to have to take that off wherever it is because it's going through the bloody pipe. That's it. There's a little pipe there what's going through the pipe what loops from the top to the bottom of the tank. Well, let's have one good lift. caught on the spit. Some 
something's caught down there, but I don't know what. Oh, that was clever. This must be the oldest petrol tank I have ever removed in my life and I've been around for a while come on Johnny boy we can do this I'm sure we can do this now there's another wire down here yes down here there's another wire attached to it which is a uh, fuel gauge I'd imagine Can we see where it's catching? Oh, I can't see why it's catching. I remember that Dell bloke taking one of these off with him who ratted it. And the same bike as they said he ratted it. And he took the petrol tank off. It took him 30 seconds. He's a clever man. I think we're coming. I think we're coming. Stay there. We're caught on something. I don't know what. Maybe I have got to slacken the balls. Oh my god. So I'm just going to slacken the balls. And uh, tilt them forward, hopefully. Got a slack of the bars, are you, Johnny? Right, let's get some proper tools. We we'll use this. Oh my God! Why is everything so tight on this bike? for the previous owner. I bet the last owner was Arnold Schwarzenegger. Get to the chopper! Get down! Somebody's trying to kill me! <laughs> Is that normal? Absolutely shattered, and I've just tried to remove my petrol tank. What? You were having a laugh, aren't you? Oh, what's it catching on? Hopefully, you can see that. There's a wire here. And it's going round this pipe here. Can you see that? Looped through there, going down there to the lights. <laughs> oh, people like to make it harder for other people, don't they? Okay, so I can't get to the other end of this wire. I've got coolant dripping down there, I don't know if you can see that. Coolant dripping everywhere. I'm just going to cut through this wire sod it. I'm just going to cut it there. Gone. Now hopefully this should lift off. Finally. Wow! 
Oh, look at that, that's perfect. That is made for it. Somebody did say in the comments, but be careful how you put your petrol tank down because it can warp. And you can't get it back on. Well, I couldn't even get it off. Right. Okay. Looks like we're back inside that haunted house again. <laughs> Gotta find out where my rectifier and why went. Give it goes. From there, up to there. I wonder I couldn't get it. Yeah, there's the wire that I cut through. Going down to those lights. Got something leaking up here, what looks nice. Okay, so there's where all the cord up was coming from. I've sort of twisted the cap trying to get the tank off and it's loosened it slightly and the uh, back pressure has brought it through. Uh, if anybody out there knows what colour this coolant should be, should it be the red coolant or should it be the blue coolant? Please drop me a comment. Well, at least we've got the fuel tank off. And yes, I'm sitting on the floor because the petrol tanks pinched my stool. And I must say that was odd work, but knowing what we know now, next time it will be a lot easier. And hopefully there isn't going to be a next time. So yes, I'm going to call this video there. It's gone on for long enough. So if you like following what I do, please go to my uh, Facebook page, JMT Moto. All in capitals. I'll try to leave a link in the uh, description for my Facebook page, but I'm not very good with all that computer computer wizardry stuff. Wizard stuff. What well, I don't know. Uh, anyway, please share my channel on your Facebook to all your friends, and thank you very much for all you subscribers. I'm that far away from 3,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. So I know I've just said it, but like, share, comment. Leave a thumbs up. Stay well, stay safe, and on that note, I'll see you in another life, brother. I'll see you on the next one.